What's up guys, hope you're all doing well. Today I'm going to be doing another PC only video, so again, I apologize to any of my console viewers. That's because this video is about how to install any Trove mods from the Trovasaurus website. Not all mods are on the Steam Workshop, so it's important to know how to do this if you want to try out some experimental mods from Trovasaurus. If this video helps you out, be sure to like and subscribe as I'm constantly putting out new Trove tutorial videos every single week. The pacing of this guide will be a bit fast at times, so feel free to pause the video at any point if I'm going too fast. Also, if you have any questions about any part of this tutorial, let me know in the comments section below, as I'd be happy to help you out if you get stuck. To start things off, first head to the Trove Tools Mod Loader download page, which is the first link in the description of this video. On that page, click the .exe button to download the Mod Loader setup file. Once it's done downloading, run the setup.exe file, and click install if a warning message pops up saying the publisher cannot be verified. I can assure you this program is safe as this program has been used for Trove modding for the last 5 years. After the setup finishes, the mod loader will automatically launch and create a desktop shortcut for you to use in the future. The first thing you're going to want to do in the mod launcher is go to the settings tab and check to make sure that your trove is connected to the mod launcher. If the mod launcher already detects your game, check the timestamps in the description to skip to the next step. If it hasn't detected your trove, click the Detect Locations button to refresh the list, or manually input your trove location by following these steps. First, right-click on Trove in your Steam directory, hover over Manage, and click on Browse Local Files. From here, open the Games folder, Trove, Live, and then click in the path bar at the top of your window. Copy the selected contents and go back to your mod launcher. In your mod launcher, click Add Location. Then click in the path bar at the top of the window, paste the path that you copied from before, and hit the Enter key. Lastly, select your trove.exe file and click Open. This will manually link your trove files to the mod launcher. Now that your trove is linked to the mod launcher, you can start downloading and installing mods. Go to the Get More Mods tab and start searching through to find what mods you want. For example, if I wanted to find a mod that changes the geode topside's colors, I'd start by searching geode in the search bar at the top. If you want to see a description of what each mod does, click on the blank space next to any mod name to bring up the description at the bottom. This purple geode surface mod seems like a solid replacement for the geode surface's red block color, so I'm going to click on the install button to install the mod. The mod launcher will then bring you to the My Mods tab, which shows you all of your currently installed mods. Here you can uncheck any of your mods to uninstall them and select them and click Remove Mod if you wish to remove it from the list entirely. Now that this Geode Topside mod is installed, let's launch our game to see if it installed properly. And just like that, the mod is already installed and works perfectly. Now one thing to note is that since this mod launcher has been around for 5 years, there are going to be some mods that don't work at all. The vast majority of mods will work fine, but some types of mods will not always work properly with the current version of Trove. For example, if you install a mod that changes the player HUD, it might be missing certain features or might not work at all, since the in-game HUD has updated quite a bit since the launch of Trove. However, if no mods are working at all, then it might be a problem with the mod launcher's connection to your Trove game, so try redoing the steps from earlier in the video to relink your Trove. That's it for this video, hopefully this guide was easy to follow, as I tried my best to simplify as much as I could. Remember to like and subscribe to support the channel if this video helped you out. Again, if you do have any questions about the installation process, let me know in the comments section below. Also, if you have any general questions about the mod launcher from stuff that I didn't mention in the video, feel free to ask me those as well. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.